Hi everyone, my name is Sharon and welcome to my channel. I just returned back home after living in Madrid, Spain for three months as an au pair. And while being an au pair was not my ideal like living life situation, um, I did get to do a lot of traveling around Europe and for that I will always be grateful. And if you want to know more about my travels and my life as an au pair, definitely check out my blog. I posted a bunch of pictures on there for my travels and I will put a link in the description box below. But today's video is not going to be about any of that. Today's video is going to be about how I spent most of my time in Madrid, which was shopping. I love to shop and I took full advantage of the many Zara stores while I was in Spain and in Europe. So Zara is an international store, um, but they originally are from Spain. And so I've been to Zara before at home, but I never really um, bought much from there. I didn't really like the store that much. It just, I don't know, never really found anything that appealed to me that, there. Um, that being said, before I left, uh, one of my friends who had also lived in Spain for three months a few years ago told me, Sharon, you are going to love Zara. You're going to go there all the time. And because of my past kind of like nonchalant attitude towards Zara, I was like, yeah, okay, maybe. And she was right. If she is watching this, um, you so called it because I didn't know the way to put it. I went ham every time I went into Zara. And what I'm going to show you today is probably only like a fraction of what I would have, of what I could have bought because there's so many other things that I really, really liked. And I just think that the selection there in Europe was a lot bigger and the pieces were just a lot better there. Um, I think when you go to Zara here, some of the pieces can be like really safe and a little boring, a lot of just like black and white. Um, but I think the pieces there had just much better colors and patterns and fabrics, a lot more adventurous. And that is more aligned with like the way I like to dress personally, really colorful, not really following like I guess the rules and stuff. And also it was a lot cheaper. Um, I, for a few of the pieces that I bought while I was there, I looked up the price in dollars and compared it with the converted Euro price. And some things were like 50 to $75 cheaper there than what I would have paid for them if I were to buy them here. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started on what I bought. So. The first item I'm going to show you is a pair of pants. They are black and white vertically striped with a very wide ankle at the bottom. And they're made out of a really, really silky material. And they have an elastic waistband at the top with kind of a tie at the waist. And they have some pockets on the side. And I have a hair elastic in them because I have worn many of these pieces and including these ones. Um, and so what I really like about these pants is the material. I'm going to be going to India in a few weeks, so these will be really great to wear there because they're light and airy, but they're still, um, I think, very chic looking. So, yeah, I'm really happy with these pair of fun pants. Second item is also a pair of pants. Um, so pretty much everything that I bought... I saw once and then I returned back to the store to actually buy them after kind of thinking about the piece a little, trying it on sometimes multiple times, taking some photos, sending them to my sister back home and asking her for her opinion. But these are actually the only item that I did not do that with. They are another pair of black pants and they have a thick white and thin gray stripe all along the side and they also have pockets and they have a belt loop. And they have some pockets in the back, with buttons, and they are super, um, I think kind of like businessy, working, professional. I think this might look cool with some like, with maybe like a hot pink, like kind of baggy, you know, sweater, or maybe like a fun t-shirt that could kind of play off the businessy vibe, but make it a little more fun and youthful. Next up is another pair of pants. And these ones are wicked funky. Honestly, depending on the day, they will be up to my ankle or a little shorter. But they are made out of a sweater material. So it's a bit strange, like sweater pants aren't that common. I'm definitely seeing a lot more of them recently. But usually I feel like you see them in really neutral colors, like grays, blacks, like nudes and tans. But these are in a deep green color and 
it's also sparkly. And I love anything that is sparkly, and I also love anything that's fur. You'll get a little taste of that later um, in the video. And so, yeah, I really like that these pants are just so unique. I have a hard time describing them because I feel like there's so much to say. You know, like, I got a pair of ankle length, dark green, metallic, sweater knit pants. Um, it's, it's an apple. And so they also have a little um, tie at the waist so you can get them to fit really well up there. So next up is the last pair of pants that I bought. And these are also another funky pair of fuchsia velvet track pants. I know, very funky. So at the top, it's a waistband, an elastic waistband with a little tie. And at the end of the ties, you have a little metal, oh, I'm forgetting the name, aglet, I think. I think it's called an aglet. And yeah, they're full fuchsia velvet. They have pockets and they, at the bottom, like they're track pants. They come in a little, and so they're super funky. I mean, I don't think there's any other way to put it. They're really cool. And they also, um, they made these pants in a bunch of different colors. And to kind of pair with them, they were also selling like t-shirts in the same colors and velvet material in like a mock neck um, t-shirt, I guess. And I tried the pants on with the matching t-shirt when I first went to the store and tried these. And I literally looked like Barney, um, just like this big purple monster. So I ditched the shirt, got the pants, and I'm excited to wear them out when I get the chance. So now we're gonna move into jackets. So I am a big fan of little jackets and also really nice big like winter outerwear pieces. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing one right now, a little cute little mint green jacket. And so I definitely made sure to buy a few of these while I was away. And so first up, is this little jacket, really similar to actually what I'm wearing right now. Just kind of like a no buttons, open little coat. Um, and this has some awesome like needlework and beading and great patterns and colors. Some are kind of like shiny and metallic. And yeah, I think it's really cool. Definitely something that I could wear in summer or in fall with you know some wide leg like, jeans or some like cute denim shorts and there's so many different colors in the jacket that I could wear so many different color shirts or dresses or skirts with this piece. So next up is this little leather jacket. So I for some reason have never owned a leather jacket. Um, I think that some pieces you should really like look for them to be high quality and to like look expensive even if you like can't afford an expensive item um, of that piece so for example like leather jackets when you like look at designer brands can be really expensive like 300 400 plus dollars um and cheaper versions are first of all like hard to find and also like hard to find but still have an expensive look and i think that this jacket kind of hits that it is a little bit cropped and it has like a little um, I guess kind of belt thing that goes around and I've seen someone wear it without the belt so that's definitely an option because it can come to sometimes start to kind of like drag around and be a little annoying so you can easily take it off and still wear it and it has some small little pockets here and it has just the like right amount of decoration that it looks like a little motorcycle jacket but it's not too distracting and it's still simple so yeah this will be my leather jacket probably for a while until i can afford myself a little you know acne or all saints piece a girl can dream so next up another jacket this is a denim jacket that is kind of like acid washed um lighter faded and it's definitely a bigger fit. So usually all the things I get in Zara for tops are smalls. This jacket I actually bought in an extra small because it was really, really baggy and big. So I, when I went first to the store and saw this, I tried it on a small and I was like, oh my God, it looked terrible and I didn't get it. And then I returned and I was like, God, I really love this jacket. Like I wish there was some way it would look good on me. And then I was like, oh, why don't I try on an extra small? And I did and it looked so dope. 
And so it has this cool remo removable fur collar, um, faux fur, just to clarify if anyone's curious. And it's, just, it's in this really pretty pink color that I think pairs really well with the um, color of the jacket. You can kind of start to see in the corner, there's some black like paintwork. And there's a lot more going on in the back. So that's what I really liked about this jacket was the kind of like funky painting that's on the back. But at the same time, because it, well, because I kind of like to have like a bit of a, you know, street artist, graffiti work, kind of like a Basquiat vibe to it. Because it's very kind of just like nonsensical. Um, but at the same time, I liked that it didn't say something like, uh, Mondays are the worst, or like, live your fullest dreams out. I actually saw this really funny meme about like going into Forever 21 and like picking up a really cool jacket and then seeing on the back it has some like weird phrase or something written on it. I definitely think that you can go to Zara and there's pieces like that. And I don't really like having like weird little slogans all over my clothes. So I liked that the only decoration on this particular jacket was just like imagery. So yeah, I love this jacket so much and oh, I'm so happy I got it. Next up is coat time. So I'm gonna stand up to show this. This jacket hits me about mid thigh. It is a kind of maroon, black, white, pink, and red. I don't know what this pattern is bead maybe, a little plaid, very wide plaid, I think, coat. And it's made out of kind of this wool material and it has this awesome pink collar that I love. So a little bit similar to the denim jacket, but this collar is a lot um, thicker and a little bit lighter. And while I think that on the denim jacket, the pink collar with the kind of edginess of the actual jacket is a really nice juxtaposition. I think this coat is all about just, you know, pairing really, really nicely and being really well coordinated. The only complaint I'd say is that the material is a little bit like pilly and pulley and I don't know, threads are flying all over the place. Um, so it's definitely not, I'd love to wear it with like a lot of white stuff. Um, because I would love this jacket to be like a great pop of color against like an all white outfit. But it might be a little messy for that. So yeah, I love this jacket so much. Next up is a skirt, the only skirt I purchased. So I saw this pretty early in my time in Spain and I didn't get it. And October rolled around and I was like, man, I really wish I bought that skirt. And I was looking at like the item tracker in the Zara, on the Zara website and seeing like which Madrid stores had it and like pretty much like no one did. I would have to go out to some like random suburb to get it and I wasn't really in the mood to do that. So when I was in Rome in the second to last weekend before I came home, I popped into a Zara and lo and behold, this skirt was there. So it is a midi length metallic silver pleated skirt. So it fits really nicely on the waist and then it just flares out. Really excited to wear this. And then I only got two shirts while I was in Spain. So I got this little shirt. It is half sleeved with kind of a baby doll fit. So around the waist, the bust line, I actually more accurately, it kind of flares out into this um, tool little mini skirt, I guess you could say. And the tool has like little dots on it. I think they're called Swiss dots. That's what you call this. And the whole top is covered in this um, thread and beads and kind of an Indian design. And the other shirt that I bought is a long white button down that kind of has a bit of a bigger, looser fit. It kind of flares out a little bit. It's more noticeable when it's worn. And on the front and the corner, uh, sorry, like kind of where a pocket would be, it says gold because on the back it says all that glitters 
in the same kind of gold thread writing. So I didn't really like like the shirt as much as I just liked what was written. And what I think is cool about that shirt is you could wear it tucked into something and no one would ever know that it has a bit of like a longer length. Or you could wear it with like a belt across the waist and some like skinny black trousers, even like leather pants or something. And you could really take advantage of the longer length. So it's definitely something that you can wear a couple ways. And so the two pieces of non-clothing things I got, I'm going to show you next. I'm definitely more of a clothes shopper. So while Zara has a lot of like accessories, I stuck mostly to the clothes, except for this long, skinny, black fur scarf. So what I like about this is that you can kind of wear it like this, kind of over your shoulders, go a little glamorous old Hollywood. You could wear it like a normal scarf, kind of around your neck, wrap it up a bunch of times, you know, there's so many ways you could um, tie a scarf. You can either wear it around your neck or around your arms. And so for that reason, I think it's super versatile and I think it'll add like a touch of kind of old, you know, Hollywood elegance and glamor to whatever your look is. And the last item of this haul is a pair of shoes. So I, for some reason, don't own many shoes. Um, I'm a big just like ballet flats wear no matter what the season is, no matter if it's snowing, it's icy, um, if it's in the middle of the summer, I love to wear ballet flats. But I have been for a while thinking I need to kind of mix it up with a pair of booties. So I got a pair of just little black booties, super simple, and kind of like on the side where the ankle part is, rather than being like normal leather like the rest of it, it's kind of this like black sock material. So that was the last item in my haul. I hope you enjoyed looking at what I bought. And if you're ever in Europe, I totally recommend going to Zara and having yourself a fun old time. I actually like had fun when I went into the stores. It was like, ooh, like do they have new merchandise? Do they have a new collection and stuff on sale? It was just really exciting to go. Um, sometimes more than once in a day, I would go to different stores just because they were kind of like concentrated in the same area. And sometimes I would go like a few days in a row because it was A board and because B, it was so great. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye.